So which is better, a blow dryer or a heated brush to style your beard? Uh, I don't know if I have the answer, but we're going to talk a lot about the pros and cons today and give you some things to consider, hopefully give you a, a little bit of help along the way. So welcome, guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I've done a number of different videos. If you want a full tutorial and some secret tips on how to use a heated brush, I've done that video here recently. Uh, last year, I did a full tutorial on using the, uh, the blow dryer with uh, it's me talking as you're seeing me do. Uh, the full uh, routine. So you go back and check that out. I also did a video on whether or not you should actually be using heat on your beard. Something to consider. Uh, by the way, today, guys, my beard is brought to you with no heat. I don't always use heat, but when I do, these are some of the things that I consider. All right, so let's uh, let's dive right in here. So a blow dryer, uh, pros and cons. First of all, it dries your hair. A, a heated beard brush is not uh, intended to dry your hair. It's more uh, just about styling. So that would be step one. So that kind of uh, points me in the right direction. If I'm just got out of the shower, I'm ready to do my beard um, uh, and my beard is wet, I always start with a hair dryer. And you can use both. You can start with a hair dryer and switch to a, a heated brush if you want. But in general, uh, if you're drying your beard, you want to go for the hair dryer, blow dryer instead of the heated brush. All right. Uh, the other thing is it gives you a little bit more control about where to put the heat, right? Because, you know, you, you you pull your beard tight uh, and then you can put the heat right on that one spot. Whereas if you're using a heated brush, you, you have to keep moving. Right. So you have to keep moving. So you can linger just a little bit on and kind of more of a spot correct, if you will, to try to get out a wave or a dip in your beard or something like that. I think that the, uh, that would go to the blow dryer of giving you a little bit more uh, control over those particular things. All right, the, the other thing you can do is it can start to shape your beard more. Uh, you can get kind of the tuck under, right? So if you're using uh, something there, a little round brush, you can roll that under. You can get uh, that shape a little bit more into your beard with the hair dryer, uh, whereas the heated brush is more just straight down. You don't typically go this way and curl it under, even though if you've got a medium beard, kind of like mine, you can do that to some effect. But most guys, I don't think they do that to, to curl your beard under. So those are a few of the pros for using a blow dryer. A couple of the cons is it does require two hands, right? So you've got, to, and you have to actually hold this one above, you know, right at your, your head level or above your head. Um, so it's a, it, it can be a little bit cumbersome to figure out, right? Because you're, you're using both hands at the same time. You've got to be a little bit ambidextrous. Sometimes you may even want to switch hands and you do it with the other side. So it takes a while to figure out. There's definitely more moving parts. You've got to use two hands. You've got to use multiple tools because you almost always have to have another uh, tool to give you tension in your beard while you're blowing it uh, using the blow dryer on it. Uh, and, and to some extent, I do think you need more than one tool for a heated brush, but you can do that one handed. You can use that one hand and then go back with maybe a boar's hair brush or something like that to pull everything tight. Um, so that's a little bit different. By the way, also the blow dryer, I forgot the, the pro on it, is most of them has a cold shot. If you have not, uh, if you don't have a hair dryer that's got the cold shot on, I highly recommend it. Once you get your beard hot and straightened out, then you use the cold shot. There's a chemical process that goes on there and it kind of locks everything in place. You can mimic that. If you watch the video tutorial I did recently on the um, heated brush, I, I kind of mimic the cold shot by doing a couple of different things. Uh, the other thing uh, that's a con is this thing is loud, right? Uh, and it, it's like a whole process for me. I've got to dig it out from underneath the counter. Uh, this one's got, you know, a cord. I've knocked off beard bottle, beard oil bottles with the cord before. Um, the, this is a little easier to manage. It's a, a smaller profile. It is quiet, um, much better for travel, and there are actually a couple of different options out there that are kind of cordless. They don't usually last very long in between charges, but you can use them uh, without a cord, which makes things a lot better depending on your particular setup and where you want to use it, using it at the gym or in your car or something like that. So uh, there's definitely some uh, pros there on the, uh, the fact that it's quiet. You're not going to wake anybody up in your house, and then also it's a smaller profile, uh, better for travel more than likely. 
Uh, the other thing about the um, the hair dryer, it's difficult to dial in, right? Because you got to get the right angle, you've got to get the right distance away uh, on it. And there's a couple of things you can do. First of all, it just takes practice, and then uh, you can add an attachment here. You can put on uh, the concentrator, and that you'll see most uh, beard trim videos from the barber shop is they're using this. I've tried it. I probably need to try it some more. But for me, it, it makes getting the right angle and getting that directed really defined heat uh, to go exactly where I want it with me looking in a mirror uh, with everything moving around with all these moving parts I found it not to be as helpful so I'm, I'm using it without any uh, concentrator on so it's like blowing stuff everywhere you drying your eyes out especially if you wear contacts or something like that it can be a can be a, 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 a little bit of a hindrance a little bit of aggravation okay uh, which one's faster? It kind of depends. Uh, for me, the heated brush is faster if you take out the time it takes to heat it up. It uh, depends on which model, which brand you have on how long it takes to heat up, but anywhere from two to five minutes to heat up. But really, I'm only using it for uh, a minute or so, not more than a minute. Uh, this, you know, you're, you're having to, to do everything, but then you have to put all the tools back up and put this back in the cabinet and that kind of thing. So for me, I think ease of use and speed, uh, I go with the, the heated brush more often than not. Uh, what are some of the cons of this is it's really easy to over straighten your beard. I don't think with a a blow dryer because uh, you're, you're keeping it further away from your face and you can kind of feel it more because it's blowing, you know, that hot air is blowing on your face. You can feel it. I don't think it, it's it's uh, as easy to burn yourself or to over straighten your hair with uh, a blow dryer. Whereas uh, a heated brush, you can actually burn yourself, burn your skin if you're not careful, but also tend to over straighten your beard. Most of the time you don't cause damage because you don't run it hot enough or use it for a long enough period of time, but it definitely can uh, look over straightened if you overuse this. So experiment around with how fast you go through it. That's just something that you need to do to try to figure that out. Once you get it dialed in, you can do it pretty quickly. You, you, you won't over straighten your beard as much anymore. Uh, but you do have to keep things moving, right? You can't just linger in one spot. The good thing is, is you can straighten your beard. If that's what you want to do, uh, you know, a, a beard straightener or a, a heated brush will get hot enough for you to actually be able to tell a huge difference in the straighten your beard. Uh, whether or not that looks good on you, that uh, kind of depends on the person. Uh, I'm not one to say on that one, but you definitely can get your beard straighter with and, with fa and faster with a heated brush than a hair dryer that would take a longer process and really high heat and keeping it close to your face, which would not be optimal. Uh, which one's best? Like I said, I don't know, but I wanted to talk about those pros and cons. Hopefully that's giving you a little food for thought. Let me know down in the comments which one you use more. I have a feeling it's going to be blow dryer. Um, but then again, there may be guys that y'all like using the heated brush, or maybe you like me and you don't use the heat as much. Uh, I use it on special occasions or, you know, if I've worn a mask and my beard's all messed up, I will just drop a little hint about a, a review coming up next month, probably, that kind of combines both things. So I actually have a hair dryer kind of heated brush kind of combo deal going on here so uh, make sure you say stay subscribed to the channel and be checking that review out i haven't used it enough to, to let you know if it's good or not uh, but i will be doing that review next month that'll be fun so let me know if you have any questions down below i always like helping you guys and giving you some advice wherever i can and as always i appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you soon